All right, I'm going to show you really quickly how to convert a .cdr file to an AI file, a JPEG, or even an EPS. Um, really easy to do. It's free. All you need is a program called Inkscape. Um, I'll include the download link to download this program for the PC users and the Mac users. So once you download the program, it's extremely simple. All you do is open the program. And once the program's open, you open the file that you want to convert. So I'm going to open my CDR file to convert. So open and that opens up the CDR file just fine and from here all you need to do is save it as a different file format so you click on file save as and then you save as type and from here I can save it in a number of different formats uh, I could do PDF PNG which is essentially JPEG if you're trying to save your file in a JPEG format you're probably safe to save it as a PNG but if you need to get it into a JPEG format, save it as a PNG, and then open it in Photoshop or Illustrator or even Microsoft Paint, and then resave it as a JPEG. Um, so I'm going to save it as an EPS file because I want to get it to an AI file. And so I save it as an EPS, I click on Save. That brings up this uh, menu box right here, and I'm, I'm going to make sure that this checkbox is checked. Convert texts to paths. I'm going to make sure that that is checked click OK. Here's my EPS. It just popped up on my desktop. And then from here, um, I can open it in Illustrator. So I'll show you that. I'll open Illustrator up. Once that opens, I can drag and drop this EPS file into Illustrator. And you can see all of my paths are here. It automatically converted that CDR to an EPS with paths. And so from here, I can file save as or even save a copy that does the same thing and save as type Adobe Illustrator save Illustrator CS5 OK and and there's my AI file so I was able to convert that CDR file to an EPS file and then I resaved it as an AI file. So that's how you would convert a CDR to an AI. Um, and I, like I said, you save the CDR with Inkscape to a PNG to get it to a JPEG if you need that, that file format. But I used EPS to get it to AI. So I hope this short tutorial was helpful. Um, if it was, leave a comment. If it wasn't, leave a comment. Uh, I'd like to know what went wrong. So that's it. Thanks for watching.